Okay, we're back. And uh, this time I have nothing to say besides, look who's here. Hey, it's you. Thanks again for bailing me out back at Ashina Castle. I'm gonna be hanging around here for a while. I need time to sort through all the info I've got. Speaking of which, I'm happy to do business with you anytime. Interested? Sure. Dragon's blood droplets. Pellets. Pellets is good. Pacifying agent. Powdered medicine for calming nerves used by those who deal in unspeakable disease reduces terror buildup. Oh. Terror, you say? Well, isn't that what our good friend... Oh shit, that's a lot of coin. Isn't that what our good friend Headless does? <gasps> Gorgsy. What is all this? Okay. <clears throat> I mean, I don't think we need to buy this yet. Um, I do want this though. I do want this, um, 2,000. How much do I have? Until next time. I think I have 2,000, actually. Let's try the bulging one. It's probably a 1,000. Yeah, 1,000. Yeah, I for sure have enough. Go for one big one. I want a medium one. Right, and then a couple... A couple of these ones. <gasps> I'm three away. I'm not using that. By the way, we have oil now. I, I remember, I mean... I mean, we have fire. We have the fire vent. So I can actually combine it with oil in Dragon Blast. Maybe I use this now. Or maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't know anything. Uh, anyways, um... Now that we have access to pacifying agents... Maybe we should give Headless a try. Maybe not right now. And I know, I'm just gonna go kill one enemy, and then... Uh, it really doesn't matter where. Where's the easiest place to find an enemy? Here? <clears throat> One sec. Blue color is nice. Right. Hey there, friend. Still have some business with me? I do. Give me. Thank you very much, sir. I'll come back and buy the rest later. Oh. So you're looking for goods instead of info, huh? I've always had sticky fingers, I guess. I end up collecting lots without really noticing. I got fed up with all the offerings and memorials, so I left the mob. But when I see a dead body, I can't leave it unpilfered. Besides, property can belong to anyone, right? <laughs> all right. Until next time, friend. Let's talk to you. I'm glad you've come. 
Are you just saying there the same? There was a dragon yeah. back in the video. Epidemic. Cool. Goodbye. That's actually useful. You need? Probably not. Another time then. Um, actually, let me see if I have any... I have enough to upgrade anything. You need? <clears throat> I have enough to upgrade the fire vent, but nothing else. I still don't have enough for this. So, what exactly does the Mist Raven thing do? Mist Raven Fellow, blah blah blah, blah, blah tape, cause spirit hammers in use, can disappear, blah blah blah. blah. The slight no notches in the tips of the feathers give the appearance of an old Mist Raven. They are. Okay, Miss Stance. When attacked in a stance, instantly move in the direction. Yeah, we know. After being attacked, Mist Raven, inst Mist Raven instantly move in the direction chosen. Okay, so the way I'm reading into this is that the way it's currently working is that you have to use it prior, like right as you're getting attacked. But with the upgrade, you can also use it after you're attacked. So let's say you're hit by a multi-hit combo. You can use it after the first one to avoid the rest. That's how I'm reading into it. It might be wrong. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So yeah. Okay, I wasn't that amazing. But get to it. I'm a little bit worried I won't have enough material. Unless, of course, the material is going to become more abundant as we move on. Anyhow. Where do you want to go? I don't want to fight the boss quite yet. Because I have some experience points. I want to get that uh, level up first. And then we go. Just give me a moment. My throat is acting up. I really hope I properly mute my mic. If not, I'm really sorry you had heard that. Hear that. I fight off these enemies. Marketing? Please stop backing up. That went horrible. Yeah, I'm not on board with that. Not really give up all that much experience, anyways. I think. Skip these assholes. way more enemies than I thought. Did you guys ever fix this hole? Nah. I like this item. I 
What happens if you go back? We'll do that in a second. First, let's check. This item that was not worth getting hit for. Not even in the slightest. Let's get out of here. There's two on the... The guy over there, where I just killed the other one. It's kind of weird. At least I thought there was. Thought I saw somebody here. Could have been that wood thing. <laughs> Looks like a trader's tent. Let's see if I can do a jumping attack on this guy. Not even what I wanted, but I'll take it. Messy, but those little slaps aren't doing too much. So. Oh no, never mind. So the tent is a banner. But it was a tent. Let's see, what's in this room? Since the door is locked, how can I get up here? Not just locked for nothing. That's for something. No. I jump up this pillar. It's just a backflip. I did do a backflip, what? That was pretty cool. I didn't know that. Not sure how useful that is, but... Uh. 
That's us. Awesome. Maybe I need a key of some sort. Is this? All right. All right, we're not getting any freebies from this. That's a sweep. Blocked that game. I think we're out of this. Yeah. It's not like it was hard, it just dealt a crap ton of damage. They can punish you very badly. Oh shit. Be a little bit careful about that one. Brutal, man. Forgiving after we spent so long trying to clear out that area too. Kill the ones up top here first. Deal with the, the gunners. Oh, I wasn't crouching. Oops. Let's see. I didn't go for the assassination there. But that's okay. It's dead.
Oh, there's two of them. I was kind of hoping to kill one. Deathblow one. Just wait for him to turn around. That's a lot of sound for killing that guy. <laughs> Some of this dude left. Ah, oh, it's two more. Right. Um, the skill I wanted was five points, I think. So there's no point in going back quite yet. And I'm gonna see if I can assassinate him. At least take away one of his life. One of his uh, life globes. Probably can. That is at all possible. I'm hearing stuff. I'm definitely hearing stuff. I think there's somebody sitting right up there. Maybe deal with him for first, right? Just gotta be careful that it's spotted by anything up here. Oh, it's him. So much damage. <gasps> Mother! I. I have to use another flask. What the hell? You man, <laughs> actually deflected so many of those. Ugh. It's just the entire thing I have to go through every time in order to get to it, you know. I wish you just put an idol in it. <sighs> Whatever. Let's see. Go through all of this again. So much work. Only to have the entire fight fall apart in five seconds. So much waiting.
started. I don't like that my character actually gets up. Every time I do an assassinate. I wish he would stay crouch. I have to turn around. Here we go. Almost messed that up. Right. Try. Try again. Man, this guy deals so much damage. What the? Hope I didn't lose my chance to assassinate. Yeah, he knows I'm here now. Somebody's gonna come inside here. I hooked to the wrong hook thingy. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's gonna de aggro. I think we just lost the chance to get a lot of damage. Do I have to go through all of that again? I didn't even get a chance. Hmm. Nothing up here? Oh, there is something up here. I'll find a way to get yeah, his uh I think it's fair to say he knows. Well, there's no point in challenging him from up here. Might as well just go fight him without any cheese. I can't believe that happened. What a massive nuisance. Getting a chance. I guess this is like where it resets. I almost thought I lost life. That would be very upsetting. Oh, 
thought there was a guy up there. You see that thing sticking out? It kind of looks like part of the building now that I think about it. In the chances, in case he repositioned, so let's just get in here. Scrap iron. That I need for upgrades. Just gonna try something. Too much? Not at all. Shit, it's doing damage. to jump are you gonna hear me spam space bar what the hell Timing is so, so stupid. I don't like this fight. disagree so many times where I actually clicked the right thing and it didn't happen it's getting a little upsetting oh, I lost so much experience it's been happening a little bit more recently lately where uh, it started happening in the lady butterfly fight where a lot of my dodge attacks didn't happen and now you heard me. I'm not sure if you heard me, but I was spamming spacebar to jump over his sweep thing. Uh, just as, as an example, it didn't happen. Uh, yeah. I mean, the oil, oil thing works, but it's kind of slow. 
It's clearly a boss that's just meant to deflect then. That's it. Well, that's a lot of experience down the toilet. It's upsetting. This is the worst part of it all, having to go through this entire thing all over again. Most of the episode is just going to be me clearing out this camp over and over again. Unless I do the fight up there. Which maybe I should. Yeah, maybe I just should do that. Let's see if I can sneak past all of them. And just do the fight up here instead. Because I shouldn't have to pull the fight all the way down to the... Um, to that area. Not make the mistake of jumping up there. Or hooking up there. timings. I don't like this guy's attacks at all. up so fast and then he lingers in the air for so long just screws up with the, um, the flex timing it's just tedious honestly <laughs> it's like one mistake and you lost your entire life pool <laughs> And if you miss time or deflect and you block instead, well, that's your entire posture bar. <sighs> I can't believe I lost all that experience. I might just grind it back after the episode. Because I really want that death blow. I really, really wanted that uh, death blow healing skill. Losing it like that is painful. the door I mean hold
Oh, it works for me. I want to kill that guy anyways. He stopped targeting. Jesus. Please don't throw anything at me. <laughs> Go. Also, we did see him move, so I'm actually not going to take the chance to mess up the back step, so go up here instead. I don't know if I should go now or not. No, that guy's too close. Can't fight them both. How late do you have to deflect that? Are you kidding? I was almost dashing. Oh, this game. Oh. Ah, oh, cool. He's back to full HP. I don't have my flasks. Alright, we are seeing some darker side of this game popping up. It's getting really frustrating. Especially since I'm actually inputting the right thing. Keep trying. There's no point in going any other way because there's probably a boss there as well. And really want to get to five. Was so close. Got the majority of the easy ones, so let's just move on. Should also try to get the uh, the guy in the fur coat, because there's a chance he can see me during the fight. Oh well. Wow. XP bar. That's so close. Oh. So much for being stealthy. bad actually Should 
trees in the way. Did I just lose a bunch of experience again? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. What do you even say to that? Mm. Can't even make that shit up. That's frustrating. Tempted to just grind it out. Honestly. Okay, well, that didn't work. Thought I would get the assassinate. Oh. Let's just grind it out, I guess, so we don't have to worry about it. I can for sure tell you that they designed this and then they were like, were like, nah, we need to find a way to make it more tedious. So let's put it in a place where people die for dumb reasons. That's what happened. Grind on the recording. I'll give it a go. But I'll kill everyone and pull it down this time. <laughs> I'm lacking a life pot though. Actually, I shouldn't. I'll give it a go. I don't know what it is about this guy's attacks, this dude. They're just so slow. It's just so weird. Like he's up in, like his weapon is up in the air for 15 years before he starts swinging it. All the death blow thing came up.
Here I have to use my healing item because if I get hit by that large sweep, I'm dead. I think the worst part of this fight is that it takes so long to get to him. It wouldn't be so frustrating if I didn't have to invest a million years just to get back to him every time. Didn't like that. Doing anything? No, I want to do this. That didn't do much. Well, at least now we know he, this guy can't throw a fistful of ash. Any further than he can pee, I guess. I was just checking out if I could uh, maybe take advantage of it, but it doesn't seem to do much. Just a little bit of a stun. Enough for one attack. I'm really sorry this episode is just this crap, but you know, I didn't design this uh, area. <laughs> I didn't force players to have to go through five minutes of nonsense in order to uh, try the boss for ten seconds. Is that how I would design it? No. Definitely not how I would do it. Again with this crap where I don't assassinate. Almost level up though. Or is the game starting to act up? <laughs> like a lot of weird things aren't registering. <laughs> like the death blows and uh, and the jumps and the dashes. Let's 
here. Come on, hurry. Got shit to do. fun should have been uh, posture broken like three hits before that that's a big deal that's one less healing item I have I think we've got to the point with this boss again where I'm not gonna feel any joy after beating him. I'm just gonna be done with it. like happy I'm done. I don't have to see his face again. Just sad. There was a moment where the game had a couple of fun bosses, but then it went back to uh, being tedious. Ooh, we can get in two hits. I didn't know that. I'll remember this. Covering his his posture bar is all up again. messed up quite a bit, but honestly, I don't care. Here. It wasn't even the boss. The boss was a little bit hard because of the insane damage it dealt. But this is this was what was bad. Having to redo all of this every single time. That's where the time sink was. I'm sure the boss would be way more enjoyable if it was uh, more casual to access. Then again, that's a huge part of these games. They, uh, they take advantage of, uh, you know, impatience building up and frustration building up and you just wanting to get back into it fast. Increasing the probability that you make mistakes and then, you know, that spirals. It's Kind of their main gimmick. And I have to admit, I do f fall for the impatience thing really fast. I do uh, get really impatient. Good news is, we're level 5. Yeah, I do get impatient really fast when it comes to these type of things. Which is weird, because otherwise in life, I'm fairly patient. And very calculative and long-term planning but uh, in these games I get very impatient now the question is uh, no it's not a question we're gonna go heal and then go back to the oh, not 
this shit again. We're gonna rest and then actually we're gonna acquire a skill. Right. And I think I've been thinking about it a little bit. I think what this does is it gives you access to this with every posture break. Because it says backstab death blows. Oh, but this doesn't say backstab death blow. Actually, I don't know. I don't know what the point of this is. Why a regular death blow is worse than a backstab death blow, I don't get it. But we'll get it eventually. We'll try it out. Okay. I have to remember to go spend my money. Okay. Let's see what's over here now. Because, remember, this is where we came from. Oh, you motherfucker. Is that a purple turd? Oh, wait, it's an NPC. my soul. Beautiful, and yet somehow sad. As if it yearns, it calls for someone. Hey. Who are you calling for? Let me hear it one more time. Hey, you. What? <coughs> oh, my name is Jinzaimon Kumano. My duty is to patrol the moat. Hmm. I've not seen you around before. Which clan are you? I cannot say. You cannot say, you say? Hmm. So you are a shinobi, then? I cannot say. Your manners could use some work. No matter. If you are a shinobi, I won't press any further. Just like that? <coughs> shinobi! Have you ever heard someone playing the shamisen around here? I followed the sound and it led me to this well. I have not. Oh, is that so? I thought since you're a shinobi you might know. I wonder who that melody calls to. I don't know why, but I can't stop thinking about it. <sighs> ah, no, it's nothing. Please forget I ever spoke of it. Here's the thing. I want to go down there. But I'm sensing a trap. Generally speaking, using music to lure someone or attract someone is. Well, it's pretty verified now. We are going to go down there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back. I'm going to spend my money. Oh, fuck. Ugh. All right. Oh, what is... I'm going to go back and spend my money. Because I have a lot of it. Vendor. Uh, 
And I guess we're gonna drop down on whatever is uh, down there. Hey there, friend. Still have some business. I do have some business. Let's see. A memo describing the three-storied pagoda must be purchased to read the content. All right. Sabimaru memo, a memo detailing the whereabouts of Kodachi short sword known as Sabimaru must be purchased. All right. I will spend the last of my money to buy that. Until next time, friend. Okay. Is there any way for me to interact with this? A memo. The ancient Kodachi Sam Sabimaru can be found within Ashna Castle, enshrined in the bottom floor of the keep. Sabimaru was wielded in wars of old and is a national treasure of Ashna. Supposedly, the blade is poison. Blade's poisonous blue rust could drive off even the inhumane Okami warrior women. Alright. Bottom floor of the keep at Ashna Castle. Alright. Let's keep that in mind. It is said the precious treasures, well, treasure was once held within the Hirata Estate Pagoda. A threefold tower stood upon a precipice along a slope lined with bamboo groves. Seems the treasure is related to a shinobi technique. The truth of it escapes me, but it, they called it Blessed Mist? Threefold tower. Threefold tower. Threefold tower at the Hirata estate? Did we see any towers? Along a slope lined with bamboo groves. I'm just gonna Google this one just to be sure. It could be a reference to the path that we were supposed to take after we found the uh, owl, but I don't know. So I'm just going to Google this after episode just to double check. It might have been the, um, the Mist Raven. Yeah, probably. It's probably a reference to the Mist Raven, but I'll, I'll double check later, just to be sure. All right. Oh, well, let's see what this asshole at the bottom of the... Well, I don't know if he's an asshole. He could be a nice person. You know. You don't know until we actually introduce ourselves to him. Can't prejudge people. It's gonna be interesting to see what that guy, that NPC, says after... Uh... Defeat this bomb. Let's see. I don't even know if I can. This might be a little bit too far for a stealth attack. Well, here goes nothing.
crying out loud. I missed. I just I was ahead of the game. I had this bastard, you know? Just jump already. What? Now I'm just being scammed. I made a mistake. I knew the attack was coming, but then I jumped and it hit me midair. Ugh, I had him too. It has the same moveset as the purple turd. Actually, almost the same. Well, that's frustrating. It sucks when you're ahead of the game, you know it's coming, but because you have to wait. If I just waited, if I just dodge back and then jump, I'm gonna dodge. Ugh. That's actually one of my greatest weaknesses in fights like this, is when they're slow. Because it just goes like slow motion in my head and I just get impatient. It's just do it again. What?! I don't know how to deal with that thing. Can I get up out of here? Oh, I could get out of here, actually. Wasn't aware of that. Yeah, game's being a little bit of a dick right now. A lot of time waste for nothing. That one should be easy. Not entirely sure how to jump, uh, deal with the, uh... The, um... Kick. Unblockable kick. Let's try to jump from this side. I 
don't think I feel like doing this now. I had this little bastard. I need to reset, so I'm not gonna do it again. I don't wanna spend the entire episode doing this. I'll do it in the next episode. To be fair, I did get a little bit lucky on the first fight there. It was a lot of those stupid moves he wasn't doing. I'll just fight him some other day. What we should do, though, is go up here. I want to see where that bridge leads. This area. Eventually it'll lead to a boss that I know, but... Gatehouse key. Key to a samurai gatehouse located in the Aj Ashna Reservoir, not far from the well. The wolf was. Oh! Okay. Let's go check out the area. Oh, uh, that's over here. I shouldn't be running around corners like that. Since I don't know if there's anything. Whatever was there, we ain't going. <laughs> okay, that doesn't seem too hard. I'm afraid if I jump down there... I mean, we can try. See what that item is. <laughs> Scrap magnetite. Base material commonly okay, oh, it's an upgrade material. That is cool. Black jump powder. Ooh, more. I will take it all. What's our hole here? Coin purse. Over here, care to purchase another where you find the departed, you'll find the memorial mob. We, the impure, cannot turn a blind eye to anyone. Go ahead, buy an offering. Weak poison. Oh, it's that one. Mask Fragment. It's what the... Um, the NPC in the barrel... Tirata Castle has. One thousand four hundred for Prayer Breed? Do I have that much? 
Where are you from? I don't think I have a much. No, I do. Actually, I do have that much. Okay, let's let's get it. Actually, let's wait. Let's wait till I have three prayer prayer beats, and then I will buy the fourth one. Buying it now won't do me anything. Uh, item did I have? Oil, probably. And the uh, mask is 4,000, so... I ain't buying that in a while. Um... Actually, kind of want to go see what's in the building. In the samurai house. Dire need of a lot of money, so... A bit? Gyobu's broken horn. Famed horns, horn spear once used by Gyobu Masataka Oniwa. A fixed shinobi prosthetic to create a prosthetic tool, the horn contracts contracts to pull enemies in? Also capable of stripping crude armor. Oh. Like the boss? When the horn was broken during the rebellion, Ishin praised it for its splinted shape. Rewarding Oniwa with the cross-bladed spear of Shuza... Shuzen Tamara. Well, I didn't quite... Understood what I did. Pull enemies in. That doesn't make much sense. For a spear. But... Heavy coin purse. Well, let's go hook it up. Let's see what it does. Ooh, almost messed up. I'm glad you've come. Nothing. Goodbye. You need something. I do. Loaded spear. Unleash far reaching thrust attack. Lighter enemies struck by the spear may be dragged towards the wielder. Those of large build will at times force themselves into poorly fitting armor. Such armor could be thorn clean torn clean off. Point by Goebbels. Armor stripping. Alright. Could get this upgrade. Okay, so this gives me a ready, like a rush attack with the spear. Gotcha. Unleash far-reaching thrust attacks. Lighter enemy struck by the spear may be dragged toward. Okay. Successful, successive, and relentless thrust attacks. So multiple. Hmm. Well, we'll try one. Let's see how it works. Another time, then. I'll lend you shelter any time. Let's see how it works. Currently we don't deal with any shield enemies. I was thinking maybe I had to attack the enemy from behind with the loaded axe to break the armor, but... I strip away the armor. Okay. 
Okay. I don't think that looks bad at all. Anyways. We'll try it. Um, maybe on this annoying purple turd. Down in the well area. Uh, but that's gonna be it for the next episode. So... I'll see you then. Hopefully it's gonna be less salty than this one. Unless that's something you enjoy, in which case I bet you hope it's gonna be more salty. Anyways, see you then. Bye.